Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel NCRT Maths Hub. Today in this video, we will do worksheet number 54 for class 9 subject mathematics. Today in this video, we are going to learn about the properties of parallelogram. And we have already learned about the properties of parallelogram in the previous classes. So a parallelogram is a quadrilateral in which one pair of opposite side is equal and parallel. We all know that. So if one side of opposite pair is equal and parallel and similarly opposite angles are equal and diagonals bisect each other. So these are the properties basically. So required previous knowledge is about understanding of parallelogram. So we properties of parallelogram padhe usse pehle aapko understanding of parallelogram honi chahiye. Children, you have studied many properties of parallelogram and learned that if a quadrilateral any of quadrilateral any one of those properties is satisfied then it becomes a parallelogram. Agar koi bhi quadrilateral in mein se koi bhi ek properties satisfy kar jata hai then that quadrilateral is known as parallelogram. Let's learn some other properties of parallelogram. So theorem 1 we have a quadrilateral is a parallelogram if one pair of opposite side is equal and parallel. So here you can see this AB is equals to CD and parallel to CD and similarly BC is parallel to AD. So now look at the figure here. In here AB is equals to CD. AB is equals to CD and AB is parallel to CD. So we can say ABCD is a parallelogram. Hum keh sakte hain ki ABCD ke aapka ek parallelogram hai. Now theorem number 2 the diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. So diagonal of parallelogram bisect each other. So you can see in the figure 2 that is A, B, C, D and here the diagonal A, C and B, D bisect or intersect each other at point O. You can see in the figure here. So these two parts are equal. So diagonal bisect each other. So we can say O, A equals to O, C. So here O, A and this is O, C and similarly O, B and this is O, B and this is O, D. So OB equals to OD. Converse of this theorem is also true. So converse is converse theorem ka converse bhi true hai. So if the diagonals of quadrilateral bisect each other, then we can say it is parallelogram. Agar kisi bhi quadrilateral ka diagonal bisect kar, sak, kar raha hai, to hum keh sakte hain ki then that quadrilateral is known as parallelogram. Ho, quadrilateral kya hoga? Parallelogram hoga. So now we have example number one. You can see in given figure, ABCD is a parallelogram in which P and Q are the midpoints of side AB and CD. So we are given a parallelogram ABCD in which P is the midpoint of side AB and Q is the midpoint of side CD. And here if AQ intersect, so we are having AQ. So AQ intersect DP at point S, as you can see here point S and BQ intersect CP at R. So we are to prove that AP CQ is parallelogram in the first part, then DP BQ is a parallelogram and then PSQR is a parallelogram. So part 1 in quadrilateral APCQ you can see here APCQ so AP is parallel to QC as the whole side AB is parallel to CD this therefore AP will also parallel to CQ and half of AB will be equals to AP and half of CD will be equals to CQ so therefore we can say AP equals to CQ and AP is parallel to CQ therefore these are the opposite side of parallelogram so we can say AP equals to QC and we, this implies AP CQ is parallelogram as we have already studied or we have already learned that it, if in a quadrilateral one side of opposite pair is equal and parallel then that quadrilateral is known as parallelogram so here AP is parallel to QC and AP is equals to QC therefore we can say AP CQ is a par parallelogram and now you can see similarly if in quadrilateral DP DQ DP BQ keh sakte hain or DQ BP bhi keh sakte hain so DP BQ is a parallelogram because DP, DQ is parallel to PB and DQ is equals to PB similarly in quadrilateral PSQR you can see PSQR so here PSQR this is PSQR so SP is parallel to QR as SP is a part of DP and similarly QR is part of QB so therefore we, you can see PS is parallel to QR and this implies and similarly we can say SQ is parallel to PR so PSQR is also a parallelogram so these three are parallelogram so now we have practice question as you can see on the screen there are three questions for practice so let's move ahead for the solution part the question number one is 
if the diagonals of a parallelogram are equal then show that it is a rectangle so we are given the diagonal of parallelogram are equal then we need to prove that parallelogram that is given we we need to prove that it is a rectangle so we are given a parallelogram abcd you can see on the screen here abcd is a parallelogram in which diagonal ac is equals to diagonal bd so we need to prove that abcd is a rectangle so in triangle DAB आप ये ट्रैंगल लीजिए एंड सिमिलरली हेयर CBA बी ए आप ये ट्रैंगल लीजिए इधर से सो आप क्या देखते हैं कि ए डी इक्वल्स टू बी सी एज दीज आर अपोजिट साइड ऑफ पैरलोग्राम एंड ए बी इज कॉमन टू बोथ ए बी इक्वल्स टू ए बी दैट इज कॉमन साइड एंड बी डी इक्वल्स टू ए सी दैट इज डायगनल बी डी इज इक्वल्स टू डायगनल ए सी दैट वी आर ऑलरेडी गिवन सो दिस टू ट्राइंगल्स डी ए बी दिस वन एंड दिस वन That is DAB is congruent to triangle CB, CBA by side side congruency rule. So दो ये जो आपकी दो triangle आपको नजर आ रही है DAB and CBA ये दोनों क्या हो जाएंगी congruent हो जाएंगी किस rule से by side side congruency rule से देखिए दो triangle की तीनों side अगर आपके equal हैं then these two triangle will be congruent to each other. So we can say these two triangles are congruent to each other. So therefore angle DAB this whole angle will be equal to this angle CBA. But we also know that ABCD is a parallelogram. Therefore, AB is act as transversal as AD is parallel to AD is parallel to BC, and this line that is AB act as transversal. So some of these two angles will be 180 degree. These are pair of quaternary angles. So AD is parallel to BC and AB is transversal. So angle DAB plus CBA equals to 180 degree. That is sum of interior angles on the same side of transversal, or you can say pair of quaternary angles. So DAB plus CAB equals to 180. But we have already proved that DAB equals to CBA. So we can write CBA as DAB. So DAB plus DAB equals to 180 degree from equation one. That is this one. So now twice of DAB will be equals to 180, and DAB will be equals to 180 upon two. That is 90 degree. So now DAB we have as 90 degree. As in parallelogram, DAB is Equals to 90 degree. So if an a parallelogram, if one angle is 90 degree, then a positive angle will be also 90 degree, and the rest of two angle will be also equal. That is 180 degree. So 180 degree divided by two will be 90 degree each. Hence the parallelogram ABCD is rectangle. As each angle of parallelogram become 90 degree, then it is a rectangle. So this is all about question number one. So now proceed for question number two. In question number two, we are given a parallelogram ABCD. You can see on the screen two points P and Q are taken on the diagonal BD. You can see here this is point P and this is point Q such that DP equals to BQ. So DP equals to BQ. We are given so that APD this triangle and CQB this triangle are congruent to each other and AP equals to CQ and triangle AQB this triangle. And is equals to congruent to CPD and AQ. AQ is here, is equals to CP, and APCQ. This quadrilateral is a parallelogram. We need to prove all these things. So let's begin with the solution. We are given that a parallelogram ABCD in which two points P and Q are taken on diagonal BD such that DP equals to BQ. You can see here DP equals to BQ. So now we need to prove that triangle APD is congruent to triangle CQ. B AP equals to CQ and triangle AQB is congruent to CPD. AQ equals to CP and APCQ is a parallelogram. So let's begin with part number one. That is triangle APD and CQB. So you can see here AQ APD this triangle and B CQB this one. So you can see here. ABCD is parallelogram, therefore these sides are equal and parallel. And we are already given that BQ equals to DP, and these two sides are equal and parallel. Therefore, angle two equals to angle one, as these are alternate interior angles. So angle two equals to angle one, alternate interior angles, as AD is parallel to BC and BD act as transversal. BD आप ही क्या transversal है? And AD equals to BC, as these are the opposite side of parallelogram, and DP equals to BQ that we are already given. Therefore, these two triangles will be congruent to each other by side angle side congruency criteria. So now, part number two from part one, as we already proved that APD is congruent to triangle CQ. 
B. So therefore we can say AP equals to CQ. AP is equal to CQ. Ke. So AP equals to CQ. And this is all about part number 2. So now we need to take triangle AQB and CPD for part number 3. So you can see here AQB this triangle and CPD this triangle. So AB is parallel to you can see here AB is parallel to CD. So these are opposite sides of parallelogram. So opposite side of parallelogram mentioned here. Now angle 3 is equal to angle 4 as these are pair of alternate interior angles as AB is parallel to CD and BD act as transversal. So therefore angle 3 equals to angle 4 that's, that is alternate interior angles. So now BQ equals to DP. BQ or DP ke aapke equal angle honge as we are already given. So equal sides honge. So we are already given. So now AQB is congruent to triangle CPD. These two triangles are congruent to each other by side angle side. You can see here this, this side, then this angle and this side. Similarly, this side, this angle and this side. Side angle side congruency criteria say these two triangles kya ho jayengi? Congruent ho jati hai. So now for part 4, as we have already proved that these two triangles AQB and CPD are congruent to each other. Therefore, by CPCT, we can write it as AQ equals to CP. AQ equals to CP by CPCD and CPCD is you know corresponding parts of congruent triangles. So now in part 5 in quadrilateral APCQ. So we have already proved that AP equals to CQ that is from result 2 and AQ equals to CP from result 4. So as opposite side of quadrilateral APCQ are equal hence we can say APCQ is a parallelogram. APCQ ke aapka parallelogram hai. So, in the question number 3, in triangle ABC and triangle DEF, AB equals to DE and AB is parallel to DE, BC equals to EF and BC is parallel to EF, vertices ABC and AB and C are joined to vertices DE and F respectively. So, we need to prove that quadrilateral ABED is a parallelogram. So, here you can see ABED is a parallelogram. Quadrilateral BEFC is a parallelogram. BEFC, this one, we need to prove. And similarly, AD is parallel to CF. So AD is parallel to CF. We need to prove this one. And AD equals to CF. We also prove to that it is equals to AD equals to CF. And quadrilateral ACFD is parallelogram. ACFD is a parallelogram. We need to prove. And AC equals to DF. We need to prove this one. These two are equal and triangle ABC this triangle is equal congruent to triangle DEF so all these things we are to prove so here in quadrilateral ABED the first quadrilateral ABED you can see here ABED so in quadrilateral ABED we are already given that AB equals to DE and AB is parallel to DE we are given so implies we can say if one side of quadrilateral is equal and parallel one pair of opposite side of a quadrilateral is equal and parallel then we can say that quadrilateral will be a parallelogram so here ABED is a parallelogram so in quadrilateral if a pair of opposite side is equal and parallel then it is a parallelogram so hence ABED is a parallelogram this is all about part number one so now in quadrilateral BEFC you can see here BEFC so we are given BC equals to EF and BC is parallel to EF. So this quadrilateral also a parallelogram. So ye kya ho jayega? parallelogram ban jayega. So in quadrilateral BEFC, BC equals to EF and BC is parallel to EF. We are already given. So implies we can say BEFC is a parallelogram and reason will be same as above. If in a quadrilateral one pair of opposite side is equal and parallel, then quadrilateral becomes a parallelogram. So now in part number three, ABED is parallelogram from result one. We have already proved. Therefore, we can say AD is parallel to BE and AD equals to BE. We have already proved kar part 1. Mein. Similarly, BEFC is a parallelogram from result 2. Now, we have already proved here. So, therefore, we can say BE is parallel to CF and BE is equals to CF. So, now we have two results from part 1 and part 2. Combine these two results, you can see here. As AD is parallel to BE and here B is parallel to CF. So therefore we can say AD is parallel to CF. AD will be parallel to CF and AD will be equals to CF from result 1 and result 2. So this is the part number 4 
as AD is parallel to CF and AD equals to CF that is result from 3. So as in a quadrilateral ACFD one pair of opposite side is equal and parallel that is AD is parallel to CF and AD is equals to CF. Therefore we can say quadrilateral ACFD is a parallelogram. ACFD kya hai? A parallelogram hai. So now part number 5 that is as ACFD is a parallelogram. So ACFD is also a parallelogram that is from result 4. So therefore opposite sides will be equal that is AC equals to DF. AC or DF kya ho jayengi? Side equal ho jayengi. So in triangle ABC and DEF we can say here we are already given that AB equals to DE we are already given. BC equals to EF we are already given and AC equals to DF from result 5. So these three sides of two triangles are equal. So therefore we can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF by side 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 congruency criteria. This is all about question number 3. So if you learn from this video then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can. Thanks for watching.